In this lesson, we will see how a node is inserted into a linked list. So while covering the insertion, we will look at three different cases. One will be to insert in the beginning of the uh, list. Second will be to add a node in the end of the list. And the third case is, is to add the node somewhere in the middle after a particular node. So we will see the time complexity for all of these. And we will also write code for all the three cases. So first, let's see what happens when we insert a node in the beginning. So this is our initial linked list. And we usually have a pointer to the first node which is termed as head. Sometimes we also have a pointer to the last node, but this is usually, uh, this will not be usually given to you in a problem. So let's ignore it for now. So if we have to insert a new node, let's say the node, uh, we want to store a value of 100. So I'm continuing with the example of integers as the data. So we want to insert a node having a value of 100 in the beginning. So we have a reference to this node, one, so what we will do, we will create a node. So this will take constant time, new node with a value of 100. So this is a constant time operation. Just we need to assign values to the data and next as the null. So once this node is created, this node is lying here with its next pointing to null and the head is pointing here. So what we can do, we can write, so this is the new node, let's call it n. So n's next is null. So what we will do, n's next is head, whatever was the earlier head. And the new head will be n. That's it. So you can see it's a constant time operation or O of 1. We will shortly write a code for this. First, let's see uh, the other cases also. So let's say we want to insert in the end. So one case is that you are given a reference to the tail we will not consider this case. Usually this is not given. You are just given the reference to the head. So what we have to do, we have to start from head and let's say we have a dummy node n and it's pointing to the head. So it's next is not null. So while it's next is uh, not null, we will keep advancing n. So n equal to n next till n becomes null or n's next become null. So n comes here. Now n comes here. Now it's next is null in the original, original linked list. So we will stop here. So what we will do, uh, we will create a new node. Let's call it uh, double n to differentiate it from that node we used for iterating. So double n equal to th this new node with a value of 100. So what we will do, uh, n is the last node. So n next equal to nn. And that's it the head remains unchanged in this case. Head changes only if the insertion is in the beginning. So this is the second case. So how much time it will take? We have to traverse from uh, the first node till the end. So if there are n nodes, it will take O of n time. Finally, let's see if we have to insert after a particular node. So again, here are two cases that either you are given a uh, exact pointer to that node so in that case, it will be O of n. So if node pointer is given to you that you have to insert after this, then O of n, O of 1, uh, like you are given pointer to this node to itself. So you don't need to iterate to find the node after which you need to insert. You will directly set its next to the new node and the next of new node to whatever was the next of earlier this 2. So 100 will come here. But uh, if this is not given, let's say you are given the value that find a value, uh, find a node whose value is given is whose value is 2 and insert the new node after that. So you don't know where that node is. You may have to traverse the complete list and you may not find that value. You may find it right in the beginning. In that case, uh, the time will be very less. But on average, you can think that you will find somewhere in the middle of the list. So if there are n nodes in the list, you can expect to find it somewhere after n by 2 nodes, the expected uh, probability here. So we start looking from the beginning. So we have a node n. We compare its value. It's not equal to 2. So we are given the value 2. Then we go next. We compare the value. Now it's 2. So we know that we have to insert the new node after this. So we create a new node. Let's call it double n. And uh, this node is lying here. Its next is null. So, and the current running node n is here. So we make its next equal to nn. And we, before that, you save whatever was the next of this. 
that is 3 and n n dot next equal to the earlier value so it will be o of n in this case now let's uh, write uh, three functions corresponding to each of these three insertions using c plus plus so this was our earlier example where we had uh, added three nodes to a list and printed that so uh, what we can do uh, let's write a function which returns the pointer of new head because a list is denoted by its head so we will return the new head after insertion so insert beginning and it will take a reference to the earlier head so first and also the data that we need to insert uh, let's say we have a value well so first thing is create a node star n equal to new node with a value of val so its next will be null so what we will do uh, n next equal to whatever was the earlier head and return n so this is the new head here what we will do till this point we had just added the nodes and printed it so here we will do insert 100 in beginning and so what we will call so n1 was the earlier head and data we want to insert is 100 after that we will print this list again you can also write a function print list uh, rather than doing code duplication here so this will be new head and let's run this okay new head is itself a pointer now you can see that this was the earlier list 1 2 3 null now it's 100 1 2 3 null so this covers the insertion in beginning part the same way we will do insertion in the end Uh, again the value and the head or let's call it uh, so let's say the current node is uh, the head so we have to reach till the end so while current next current and current next so we stop when the next of current is null so that will be the last node so this I am added just for safety in case the list was empty right from the beginning so uh, we can add a base case uh, like uh, if or we should like the node was empty there was no node in that case head was null so if current is itself if uh, head is itself null then return n so this is the first node and this is the head also so this is the base case now this check is no longer required so while current next is present we do current equal to current next 
and this loop will end when current is the last node so when current is the last node what we need to do uh, let's come back here so this is the last node so next of last node should be the new node and that's it uh, so current next equal to n the new node and what we have to return the earlier head whatever was the head earlier we have to return that and now let's see so what we will do uh, this time we will comment out insert in the beginning and call insert in the end and let's see the new list so the new list is 1 2 3 100 so 100 is inserted in the end finally we will insert after let's say a node having a value of 2 so we will not give it the exact node pointer but we will give the value so insert after uh, insert this value or rather call it new val insert after val so this is the new node if the head is not null again return this current is head so if current data not equal to well and and current next so if we reach the last node we will insert it anyway now this will end when either the current next is null or current data is well so let's get rid of this condition itself let's assume that the node is this value is present so you can handle the case where this value was not present but for now let's assume that uh, this value was present in the list and we have to find it and insert after that so current next is again null so let's see here so we found this node 2 so current is pointing to 2 so the next of current is new node and the next of new node is whatever was the earlier next of current so let's save the value of next for current current next and current next is n and n next is whatever was the earlier next of current so insert after 2 the value 100 and now let's see so it says 1 2 100 3 so you can see that 100 is inserted after 3 uh, what happens with if we add this condition which we had removed that the node is not present uh, let's say current next so current next should also be there so let's pass a value of uh, let's say 5 so 5 was not uh, present here in this 1 2 3 so the current will end here at 3 and it will insert 100 here in the end so this is the case so let's handle that case also here so if the node is not found insert in the end so it searched till the end did not find so the new node was inserted there 
so this covers the insertion part for all the three nodes and again uh, the time complexity for inserting in beginning is o of 1 in the end it will be o of n insert after it will be o of n so we will continue with uh, more problems on uh, linked list and then we will cover doubly linked list and special cases like circular linked list or uh, finding loops in the list and uh, we will see uh, some important problems related to linked lists.